sky rips open and Allah along with waves and waves of angels come down for the purpose of judgment. وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ وَلَمَلَقَا صَفًّا صَفًّا And your Lord comes down with angels rank upon rank. They assemble in a straight line, seven lines, one for each sky. All of them stand humbly in front of Allah. What I am about to say next would be the hardest part of the day of judgment. The hellfire. The hellfire would be brought in view. Allah says in Surah At-Takasur, لَتَرَوُنَّ الْجَحِيمِ ثُمَّ لَتَرَوُنَّهَا إِنَ الْيَقِينِ You shall see it. Certainly you shall see it with your eyes. Hellfire isn't a pit. It's a beast. A roaring and raging beast that is held down with 70,000 chains and there are 70,000 angels holding each chain. Allah calls hellfire and when a hellfire comes every creation of Allah from Adam alayhi salam to the last man to walk on this earth the martyrs, the prophets, the believers, the disbelievers everyone will fall to their knees every ummah will be fallen on their knees all of them will be saying Ya Allah protect us Ya Allah protect us every person their eyes to the ground and they are afraid to look up they only hear the raging and roaring of hellfire. And Allah says, Here is the hellfire that I promised you. Here it is. The ayah in Surah Al Anbiya describes the least punishment in Jahannam. The least of the least punishment in Jahannam, the person mentioned has not even entered Jahannam. He has only tasted a breeze, a nafha. A cold breeze. And a nafha is used when you close the door and some breeze comes in or goes out. That is, that is nafha. So they are just exposed to this air of hell and it barely touches them. And the person says, Ya wailani, woe to me. I have never felt more torture in my life. On the other hand, Rasulullah says, Why is the worst part of hellfire? It is so scary that hell itself is afraid of it. And this person who gets to experience nafha says, I must be in way or the worst part of hell. Whereas he is not even inside of it yet. So imagine what must hell be. Allah Akbar. We seek refuge from Allah, from Jahannam and pray that he subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect us from it. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته